Hey guys, it's Bobby here. I actually received a request to do a comparison between the Dyson DC-14 Animal and the Eureka the Boss Smartback. So we will see which plastic purple toy has the most suction power, or pickup power, if I'm using peas. Um, I actually like the Dysons. I haven't talked about them yet in any of my videos, but I was first introduced to them back in 2002 when they hit uh, the United States and I sold them at Sears. I sold the model DC-07, which I like better than the one I have because I don't like the telescoping wand on the DC-14 and most of the other subsequent models, or all of them, I think. Um, I think it's an awful design. I'd rather have the flip handle on the DC-07. Um, I don't like the tool storage on this one. I think it's just a terrible... I think it's my least favorite Dyson model. That said, I still like it. I think Dyson is the best bagless vacuum you can get. It's easy to use. It's not the most powerful machine in the world, but it does a great job. I like the attachments a lot, especially the upholstery tool that doesn't stick to the furniture. And I love the bare floor tool. They've got one of the best bare floor tools, I think, that any upright has ever had. So I really like that. Um, I've had this one for about two years now, maybe three. Um, I got it on Craigslist for about a hundred bucks. It smelled like pets and dogs, and it was clogged with woman's hair and stuffing from stuffed animals, all kinds of mess when I got it. And the clutch was bad, it was clicking, so I replaced the clutch myself thanks to a helpful video on YouTube, and it's been fine ever since. It actually worked well even with the bad clutch, but I couldn't stand the noise. So, something impressive that I wanted to show you before I start the cleaning demo. Yesterday, oh, my cat Jasper, by the way, and a, uh, a wooden sweeper that my uncle, who's an antique dealer, gave me for 20 bucks. One of the first ones, I think. So, it's kind of neat. It doesn't work. It's kind of stuck, but maybe I'll restore it. But anyway, um... I vacuumed the sofa yesterday, this little ugly thing, uh, before shampooing it because I slapped it and dust came out and I didn't like that so I shampooed it now no dust comes out, it's nice. But when I vacuumed it, I used the Dyson. Now, this is all the fine dust and skin and dead cells and everything that was in that sofa. Even food and hair, all this mess, but all that little stuff, that's all dead skin cells. So kind of neat and dust, but the Dyson really did a good job on that, and I loved the tool not sticking, though the hose fought me the whole way, which is one of my qualms with Dyson. The hose just fights when it's under suction. So I'm going to go ahead and start the cleaning demo now. I'll start with Dyson first. Once again, just paper shreddings on the floor. I think there's pieces of an old debit card there, too, so there might be some interesting noises when I do this. Okay, so that was the Dyson. It didn't do as good as I expected, but it, it did okay. Alright, let's try the Eureka. Okay, so the results are in. I think the Eureka kicked the Dyson's ass, literally. Um, I guess that's why. Somewhere on the box it says, or on the front, out cleans Dyson by 45%. I guess that's true. But I still like the Dyson. I think it's a great bagless vacuum uh, for a bagless vacuum. So they're both worthy contenders in the vacuum race, I think. Okay, I'm going to show you a shirt that I made as well. I actually made a vacuum cleaner t-shirt. So I thought it would be fun to show that off. Okay, I used the iron-on transfer paper. Um, and I found some pictures online. I just got a cheap t-shirt, and I just uh, put some of my favorite vacuums on it. I had to sew because there were some mistakes. I zigzagged it on with my wonderful machine that I also have a video of. So 
So those are like little patches where the mistakes are. They actually kind of add character to the shirt, so I kind of like them. I didn't at first, but lots of my favorite machines there. Kind of fun to wear to express my passion. I don't think you can buy shirts like this anywhere. So on the back, I did the logos of the different brands. Um, so I've got most of the major ones there. The one I forgot was Royal. I printed it, but I forgot to iron it, so I need to add that on because Royal is a pretty major brand, especially for people who like old vacuums. So that is my shirt, and if anyone else collects vacuums, I recommend that you go to Walmart, buy some transfer paper, and get a t-shirt and do it, because it's kind of fun. Um, so I got a request to actually do the Dyson video against the Eureka SmartVac, and I've never taken requests before, but that was a good one, because I haven't used the Dyson yet or even talked about it in my videos, and they're such a controversial machine, people either love them or hate them. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I really do like them, but I'm not obsessed with them, so... Someone actually also requested for me to do the Kirby Centria against the Mila Plus canister, which I will not be doing. Um, I just don't think that demo makes sense to me. They're two different, completely different machines. They've, they're nothing alike, and they're just different animals completely. I don't think that it would. Ju I think it would just be a silly comparison, so I'm not going to do that. But anyway, that is my comparison of the Eureka and Dyson and a few other miscellaneous details. Thanks for watching. Bye.